The peace and quiet at Riyadh House on Tuesday morning could have fooled any outsider to believe that all was well at the powerful Athletics Kenya. But inside the premises, a meeting that would determine the future of the organization was just about to kick off. You could sense that the meeting would have serious ramifications, bearing in mind our attempts to interview officials of PAC and Athletics Union on the premises was almost hindered by the executive committee who came to listen in on our interview. Once they were satisfied with what they heard, they made their way to the meeting where several far-reaching decisions were made. The meeting resolved and I quote, Given that the Athletics Kenya president has been suspended by the IAAF Ethics Commission, the meeting has ratified the earlier decision and confirmed Lieutenant General retired Jackson Kiprono Tuwe as the president of Athletics Kenya with effect from 1st December 2015. In addition, and I quote, the suspended members will vacate their offices accordingly and will immediately cease to perform their duties in the offices as they were elected and or appointed as per the directives by IAAF Ethics Commission and in line with the Athletics Kenya Constitution, end quote. <laughs> Thank you very much. The outgoing president, Isaiah Kiplagat, was the vice chairman of the Kenya Amateur Athletics Association 40 years ago in 1975 and will serve a six month suspension on graft allegations by the IAAF Ethics Commission. Tuwe, the former army chief, first took over the reins of the federation on the 1st of June 2015 when Kiplagat asked the executive to allow him to take a three-month sabbatical to concentrate on his unsuccessful bid to vie for the IAAF vice presidency at the General Congress of August in Beijing. Reporting for The Big Question, I'm Wahiga Mwaura. Mostly to 